Hello everyone, uh, welcome to Focus Shift Media. This is Tutorial Tuesdays, which is a new segment that I'm doing in addition to the weekly videos. Um, you know, I've been using Blender since um, I was 14, so around 2012-ish, and then I've been using After Effects since 2014-ish, and so I figured I would um, share some of the insights that I've gathered over the years. Um, I feel pretty confident as an intermediate, but I want to kind of explore some of the more advanced effects, and I figured that it would be good to kind of take on some of these projects and then um, break them down and kind of uh, do some experimentation and kind of learn more about uh, new techniques uh, in the process of exploring these projects. So, but today I figured I would do something a little bit more simple. And here we have this um, track from a song I found called Open Your Mind. It's kind of like a techno sound. But here's the effect that, the effect that we're going to be recreating today. So we got this, um, you know, we got some of the geometry and then we have this kind of wireframe effect that's going on and we're gonna start by going into Blender. We're gonna start out by hitting Shift A, add mesh and add a circle. 32 vertices should be good. And then hit R, rotate and then 90. And then we're gonna hit Tab, E to extrude, X to have it on the X axis. And then we're going to add modifier, add a mirror modifier. Hit, a, hit control A, apply rotation. And you'll notice that we have this shading, this weird shading. Whereas on the inside, this is what we want. And this is because if we have a look at the normals, uh, the normals are facing inside, uh, the inside. And so we hit A and then control N this recalculates the normals and we get the result that we want uh, so now we can hit alt and then right click E right click uh, oh, let me turn off the normal okay so hit S scale it down and then G and then X And then hit E, X. And then hit E, click. G, X. And then S to scale this up. And then E, X. And then we're going to hit Z, A. And then B to have the selection box. And then Shift D, right click, S, X, negative one. And over here, you're gonna make sure the snap element is set to vertex and then closest. And then hit G, X, drag it over here. And then we're gonna hit G, X, and then you drag it to any one of these vertices. So that way it'll snap with this. Um, I mean, this way it's just, it's just useful to do this. So that way, um, as opposed to just extruding it by hand, you have a precise um, way of replicating this over here. But it's symmetrical. So hit A uh, twice, and then remove doubles. And then Control N. And then hit middle mouse to uh, move around in your viewport. And then we're gonna alt right click, hit E to extrude, right click, and then scale it uh, in. E to extrude, right click, scale it in. E to extrude, scale it in. E, right click, and then W, merge at center, okay. So now that we have the basic kind of 
form, the basic kind of geometry. Um, there's two ways that we can go about getting this wireframe effect. So the first way is to just go into Blender and add a wireframe modifier. Let's reduce the thickness a little bit. And then the other way would be to export this. Uh, you, could, you could do it as an FBX, but we could do it as a OBJ. Um, the second way to do this is to export um, this from Blender and then uh, put it into Element 3D. Uh, oh yeah, let me actually hit S and then 25. I find that whenever you're um, importing things into uh, Element 3D, you have to like scale them to some ridiculous size for some reason. But So let's go into After Effects and then hit, hit click New Composition. Uh, 10 seconds should be fine. And then we're going to do new solid and then effect video copilot element. And we're going to import our object. Scale it up a bit. Go to presets. And there we have our effect. Okay, so now uh, we can see that it's uh, it's rotating. So we want to get this uh, rotation effect as well as the camera effect. Okay, okay. So we're gonna go to group one, rotation, x uh, x rotation, then rotate it about I don't know five times should do. Yep, nope, it's a little bit too fast. Uh, uh, twice. And then we're going to go to Layer, New, Add a Camera. And then if you click over here, uh, we have the Orbit Camera Tool, which is really goddamn useful. So we're going to hit uh, track Z, hit P, and then A, and then U to get both those keyframes. And then we're going to orbit it. And zoom out. And, you know, maybe we could play around, add some uh, depth of field just to see what happens. Mess with the aperture. And this is the end result. As you can see, there's um, a lot of possibilities with this effect. You know, definitely feel free to go into Blender and, um, you know, keep extruding. Um, a lot of you know geometric shapes to make a lot of different possibilities. You could also mess around with some of the settings in Element 3D. Um, yeah, so that concludes today's tutorial. And um, if you like these, I'll keep making more. And have a great day. See you next time.